after my big championship win, we enter a new era of EWE Season 2, the reign of Alpha Omega. I understand being the second ever EWE champion, I have the biggest target on my back, but I don't understand why my elder brother, Blue Strike, had to attack me after my big win. Now, this isn't Alpha Omega talking to Blue Strike anymore. Eric, things have gone too out of hand. Too much out of hand, in fact. Come out and explain why you could ignore me and ignore the entire family and, well, why you attacked me. Oh, and Blue Strike has agreed to speak. He's coming out right now to answer Alpha Omega's questions. You don't deserve that championship. I'm more tough. I have more experience. You are nothing but an insect. I can squash you easily. Someone who has experience like me should be the face of the company. Well, you talk about experience. Let's check the list of three things that I've done that you haven't. I've won a world championship. I've lasted to the end of a showdown rumble match. You want to know the last thing that I've won? I'm off mother's love. That's right. I said that. Oh, what a kick! And Alpha Omega has to crawl outside the ring. I will win the number one contenders match later tonight. And when I get the match at the world title, you won't even be my little brother. You'll be my little bitch. Well, the funny thing is, I'm not even your little brother. You're not even family, Eric. You're adopted. What? Trouble Paradise! What the hell did we just hear? Blue Strike Her, huh? he doesn't even know what to think! Big knee V trigger! The referee trying to break this all up. And another big knee, holy shit! Alpha Omega, same we're done. Now I guess we can get into the tag team gauntlet match. Here we go, the first match will be the beginning of the gauntlet match for the EWE Tag Team Champions, which uh, fraction will come out alive with the Tag Team Championships demolition containing the former EWE um, World Champion, the new EWE Hardcore Champion and the reigning, defending, Hardcore Champion. You can see the hardcore and legendary champion Hayden and Paul walking down to the ring. Demolition is some of the best stars and it's probably the most, well, it is probably the fan favourite to win. Wait a minute, look at this! Project Neon Lights coming out with a bang! Attacking Demolition early! Caught! Jesus, the belts are still in the ring! Oh, look at, look at Josh Woods showing leg legendary champion's title. And a chop block. The referee grabbing the titles and getting them out of here. Josh Woods saying it's pathetic. No, belly to belly. See Josh Woods favouriting them belly to bellies recently. Oh god on the hardcore championship. Hayden now not not usually do you see him being this dominated. And now another one onto the hardcore championship. Charlie asking for a tag. Might be able to get it here. Wait, uh oh oh. Hayden's got other plans. Maybe looking at attacking PJ Stars. PJ Stars has been tagged in. No, 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 no. DDT on the Hardcore Championship. And now all thrown over to the other side. The Hardcore Champion in excellent shape recently. Into the cover. To advance in the gauntlet match. But kick out and nothing. By Josh Woods. 
Now PJ Styles are going to put him in like a figure four maybe, nope. Figure four headlock. Strike doesn't even phase him, stunner! That phases Josh Woods. The Alpha Wolf Josh Woods. He won't go out without a fight. Alpha Omega, the current EWE world champion. Can even tell you that one. He won't go down without a fight. Tag to Charlie. What's going on here? Wait a minute, no! Stomp to the back! Oh my god! Into the cover! To advance in the gauntlet match, a kick out at one. Charlie now just waiting for Paul or PJ Styles. Oh, what a knee! To the side of the head. And now a knee to the back. And now a stomp. Oh, into a headlock. With elbows now. No, not a headlock even. But still, anyway. And now a stomp. And now look at Charlie with his strikes, he usually does. Bang! And that's enough to send him down. And now PJ Styles with the possession turned into Charlie with the possession to the top rope. Takes the legendary championship. Which is for some reason it's still in the ring. I thought the referee had to get uh, get them out of here. This is a normal match. What is he planning to do? No, turns him inside down onto the legendary championship. That's still hitting the back of PJ Styles into the cover one. Oh, he kick out a one somehow. And now PJ Styles grabbing Charlie. Choke bomb signature move. Oh, this one might be over. This one might be over. Wait a minute, PJ Styles is up. Close line. Another one. Off the ropes. Big kick. Wait a minute. No, no, not the legendary title strap axe kick. On the legendary title strap. And I rolls him into the cover to advance in the gauntlet match. One kick out of one. Unbelievable. Now PJ Styles setting up for a reversal. Turn down into a triangle choke, I think. It might have just been an armbar. Wait a minute. Pele kick finishing move. That might be it. That might be it. One, two, four. PJ Styles still kicks out at two from the Pele kick. Dumps Charlie into Josh Woods. And oh! God! Now Charlie getting into the ring. Setting PJ Styles up. Oh, what a sling blade. That has so much momentum on it. That even caught me off guard. And then choke bomb. Signature move into the cover. One, two, kick out at two. Charlie trying to keep momentum onto Paul or PJ Styles. And a big high knee. Now what's he doing? A stomp. And now kicks. Just kicking down on PJ Styles. Tag. Josh Woods has tagged himself in. And now he's stomping down on PJ Styles. It's a stampede. And now I tag back into Charlie. He's stomping down. Look at the offense. Look at this. Just booting him into the corner. How much can he take? And oh no. Job kick right to that midsection. Ouch. That midsection has got to be on fire right now. Look at that. Boom. Now Josh Woods getting PJ Styles up. But he's just trying to fight on. Trying to reverse. But... I don't think he can do his best right now. He's been hurt too much. Charlie's just saying, please end it. This is painful to watch even for me. 
Buckle bomb, oh my god. Demolition just being destroyed. And now Joshua's setting up. Josh drop! It's over, it's over. One, two. Wait, but the Hayden Zegger break up! Oh, wait. What the hell was that from Josh Woods? No one knows. No, Hayden. Takes a belly to belly. Oh my god. And now back into the cover on PJ Styles. That might be it for Demolition. No, he kicks out. This match is still on. Could have sworn it would have ended there, but PJ Styles wanting to continue on in this match. Unbelievable. Oh no! Suplex on the legendary championship! Now that might be it. Two! Two but no, it's still a kick out. Maybe asking where is the former EWE World Champion? Well, he was going to be in this match tonight. But then, uh, well... He, he, he's not able to make it to the first show. He should be able to make it hopefully next time. And now, wait a minute, just drop, oh, it's over, it's over. One, two, kick out! What? It was a kick out from the just drop! That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. And he's getting up, but takes an enziguri. Now, PJ Styles back in this position where, well, he's kicked out good on him, but, wait, what is this? Next snap into a kick. Charlie now trying to go for these strikes, trying to wear PJ down, trying to knock him out. Oh, right to the nose. Wait, and it caught. And old PJ Styles is going to try and bring some offense of his own. No, he's not. He's going to tag in the legendary champion, Hayden. He's saying something. Screaming. Oh, what a chop. And an uppercut now. Oh. Oh, now just running through Charlie. This isn't nice. Oh, what a drop kick! Holy shit, send him halfway across the mat. Oh, Charlie's now up. He didn't like that. Big forearm. Big forearm again. On the Pele kick finishing move. Into the cover. To advance to the corner match. Two. Oh, I thought that was a three. He almost advanced. Strike misses. Run down. Into a triangle armbar, triangle armbar. Not enough damage is done to his arms. Maybe it would have worked on PJ Styles, but not enough damage. Kick. Now running under. Pele kick. That might be it. PJ Styles hit off the ropes. Where's the hardcore championship gone? Hooks the leg on the legendary champion too, but it's still a kick out. This match is never going to end. Tag to Josh Woods. Uh oh, what is this? Josh drop. Oh, the neck breaker on the title. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. The neck breaker onto the title sold it for me. Holy shit. Oh no, setting up. Oh, he's setting it up. Um, belly to belly to PJ Styles. He's setting it up. Just drop time to the legendary champion. Just drop. Hooks the leg, one, two, three. Project Neon Lights make it into the next stage of the gauntlet match. A very close match, in fact. Well, I mean, we thought we might have saw um, 
Demolition maybe luckily come out on top, but well, that just didn't happen. They were the fan favourites to win this whole thing, I'm sure. But them two can't believe what they've just done, and they are ecstatic. Look at Josh Woods and Charlie celebrate. Saying, Charlie saying, you thought we couldn't do it, we just did it. And we'll see these two against... Destroyers of Destiny, I think, right now. Welcome to EWE, where we have, well, obviously another match. Project Neon Lights are, well, switching out their members for the, well, leaders of Project Neon Lights. They're switching out for Chad Webster and Neon. They will be up against, wait for it. Skull Crusher. Where's his tag team partner? Where is his tag team partner? Is he only... Oh, there he is. Cole Lai. The Destroyers of Destiny. The biggest most dominant men in this faction destroyers of destiny they ain't gonna play the round the other two main members the other two dominant members biker and mad dog and their two i guess workers coli and skull crusher and here we go this match has begun and skull it will be a to no a tlc match it will be a tables match, obviously tag team tables match, but Chad Webster going after Skullcrusher hits him with a Pele kick and Cole Lai taking care of Neon. Neon Lights winning last time, wait a minute, Chad Webster with a neutralizer. Oh, uh, winning just a second ago in fact. Wait a minute, Chad Webster. Is he doing what I think he's doing? He might be setting it up. Wait a minute, Skull Crusher got out in the corner. Skull Crusher got out in the corner. Rainbow Carter. No, what not no, the twisting carter even. And now Kyle Lai trying to mess with uh Chad. He's saying go deal with him neon. Wait a minute. Carl Lai running for Chad. No. Caught back in a backbreaker. Oh my god. Neon now. Twisting him around. Neon catches him out. No, he looked for a back suplex, it looked like. He has to take on both of the uh, Destroyers of Destiny members on his own while his teammate Chad. Uh, Webster recovers. Neon is doing a pretty good job of it, but now Chad has returned back into the ring. Uh oh, Kyle is on the outside, and so is Neon. Oh no, that is dangerous territory if you're going to be on the outside. Anyone can be put for a table at any point. Chad setting up in the corner. He's got the palm ready. He's going to run. Oh, there's the chop. The Skull Crusher, he isn't going down. Saves the Neon and there's the chop again. Two chops to Skull Crusher. And a jackhammer to Neon. Now two strikes. Wait a minute, looking for it. Signature move. Neutralizer. And now Kyle Lai almost takes a soul kick. For a minute, what is this? By Chad Webster. Suplex! What is Neon setting up for? 
a neutralizer by him. And wait a minute, Chad, Chad setting up for upgraded symbiote injector. I'm not sure if he calls it the upgraded symbiote injector or if he calls it uh, symbiote strike. But either way, it's effective as hell. Chad setting him, setting Carl I into the table. Pop up. Power bomb off. He's going to change it into the um, table. Uh, turn it into the table. And Neon. Neon is cheering. Kyle Y. Stand on the table. Neon getting speed. There's the power bomb. Neon turning around. What a splash. I'm not sure if all of it connected. No, Kyle Lai, it did connect. Right to his back, but he, Kyle Lai gets straight back up. And Neon, bitter ending. Neon can take so many matches to different levels of everything that he does. What is Chad Webster doing? Oh, they're both going up top. Chad Webster dives into Carl I and Neon, look at the height. No, I think they've got a plan. These two have got a plan on Skullcrusher. And Neon looking to end it with a German suplex through the table. Project Neon Lights get into the next round of the gauntlet match. Completely destroying the destroyers of destiny. This, well actually no. But I mean Neon later took a bit of damage last time. And look at Chad, all confident, raising, celebrating as soon as Neon got him in a German suplex position. Chad Webster, Neon, Neon Project Neon Lights advance to the final, well the finals, no. There's still like two more tag teams. Advance to the next round of the gauntlet match. Will they make another substitution or will well or will they stay? We'll have to see. Are they gonna make the substitution or is it still gonna be Neon and Chad? Oh no, it's Neon still fighting, but Josh Woods wants to come back out. And these two are back part of a team. And they are, Project Neon, Light, Neon Lights are nearing, they are so close to becoming EWE Tag Team Champions. And they will be facing off against the New Era. Led by Knight, the person who led Clutch Era. Knight has got the best tag team. Well, best tag team. Knight has got the best tag team. No, yeah, no, he's got the best experience at tag teams, I think. I mean, every single time he's been in a tag team, FWE and EWE, he's managed to capture the tag team titles. At one point, the man held the FWE World Championship as his team got the tag team titles as well. And, obviously, well, tag team champions, he got the tag team championships in EWE as well. And I had a match at the EWE World Championship where some say he almost won. He could have won. Anyway, this match is underway. It's Sling Blade to Neon. What a match that would be. I'm just thinking, what a match that would be. Knight versus Neon. That would be pretty awesome. Um, well, I guess we're seeing a miniature, miniaturized version of that now. Knight with a moonsault. He hurt his ribs a bit there. Josh Woods taking Justin Ford apart. But Justin Ford now. Just remember that Knight actually had... Oh, what a knee strike. Knight actually had um, Justin Ford in his roster on his show MPW before. So these two can either have really good chemistry or because Justin Ford left uh, MPW for EWE, they could have some really bad chemistry. Well, we're just going to get down to that tonight I guess depending on how this match 
Uh, turns out, well, I mean, I guess we'll see. And Knight's already climbing, Knight's already climbing. Justin Ford left to keep everyone down. This is genius for a knight. If he has to, if he gets out, then Justin Ford can just fight them both off. But I mean, that'll leave a better chance of Neon than Josh Woods getting out. But oh, Josh Woods and Neon just trying to chase after Knight, but, but Justin Ford not letting him. I don't even, I don't even think Knight even told Justin Ford he was exiting. But Knight's got it now, we're just on to Justin Ford now. Knee to the back. And Justin Ford's doing pretty well. And a back suplex right to the centre of the ring. Anytime he's still to someone, they just keep getting back up. And a big kick. Just remember, this man has done something that... Josh Woods and Neon has not done. He's faced Tyler for the EW World Championship and, well, almost won. He, he was very close and I think a lot of people thought we were seeing a new EW World Champion that night, but, I mean, we didn't. Tyler managed to retain. And now... Look at this, Justin Ford just getting dealt with. And this is what I mean, now it's only, it's only one versus uh, two. Neon calling for Josh Woods, but Josh Woods saying that he just wants to destroy Justin Ford a bit more. Which, well, I mean, that is the attitude of Josh Woods. Just pin down and destroy. And now we're getting into his favourite little moves recently. The belly-to-belly -belly suplexes. And Neon saying, okay, make sure you get out safely, I guess. Project Neon Lights dominating this entire thing. And oh no. Ford lifted up. Oh, he's, he's set up. He is set up. Uh oh, he's been set up. Ford, look out! There's the Josh drop. It's over. And now Josh Woods just making fun of uh, Justin Ford. Just lifting him up now. Wait a minute, Ford. He shot on a way back. Forearm. The way. Bitter ending. And he's setting up for something. Getting energy. The man with the plan. Drop. Oh. Josh Woods moves out of the way of the trouble and paradise. Reversal. Chicken wing German suplex. Josh Woods, he's just known. He doesn't want, always want to win the match. He's just known for dominating his opponents. And Josh Woods is doing exactly that right now. Oh no. Wait a minute. Justin Ford. Justin Ford moved. Fell off the middle rope. Elbow drop. It's like he froze in midair. Get Josh Woods on trouble in paradise and finally hit. And he's thinking, he's thinking, how can he put him down? Because he can see Josh Woods just got up instantly. And now what's he doing? Oh, jumps over. Under the forearm. Running elbow. He's, Justin Ford is thinking, he's got the plan, hits him, second time, bitter ending, Justin Ford trying to just keep him down for a second, mass destruction, Ford wasting no time climbing, he wants the door open, oh no, oh no, Josh Woods is up. And now, Ford to the reversal. Referee closing up that door because no one got through it. Ford's climbing. Ford is trying to get out. Ford's trying to exit the Hell in the Cell. No, the Hell in the Cell. The steel cage. Justin Ford. Will he be able to do it? Will his plan go through? 
against the all. Oh, oh, what a strike! And pulls Ford back in. Ford takes a punch, but now he's kicking. Josh Woods and all of his might trying to use all the energy he saved up to kick him down. Josh Woods is getting straight back up. That's what you should expect from him. And now Justin Ford, Justin Ford, make or break. He's getting over. He's getting over. Make or break for Justin Ford. George Woods trying to shake the roots, trying to... Oh, no, no error has gone through. I think Justin Ford hurt his arm. Josh Woods shook the cage. It's when Justin Ford had fallen quicker. Oh, I'm not sure how that would get Josh Woods to win, but I mean... Still, I guess he just gave up. He shook the cage, so Justin Ford would fall. He landed right on his arm, you can see on the replay. That he's shaking the ropes and he's shaking the cage and he fell off. And now these two celebrating the ring. They'll be facing the Storm Squad. Right now. But first we need to see if Ford's arm is okay. There it is. The EWE Tag Team Championships about to be won by one of these teams in Hell in a Cell match. The Storm Squad, Wyatt Storm and Smoke versus the New Era, Knight and Justin Ford. You can see Justin Ford's arm uh, there as he's getting demolished by uh, Wyatt Storm. You can see his arm there, it's actually been really bruised. And if you look carefully, when the titles are being raised, you could actually see that his face was actually like kind of cut. Ford just gets a roundhouse on um, Smoke. Look at Wyatt. This is a good tag team leader. Smoke was down. Both Ford and look at this. Both Ford and Knight was going after um after Smoke. And then Wyatt Storm sees what's happening. Smoke is defenseless. The leader of the Storm squad goes in and helps his tag team partner what a knife edge drop that's what a good team leader is made out of helping their teammates up and down the way oh god i'm afraid that smoke couldn't help um why though because he's too busy uh, dominating night oh no ford 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 that's a dangerous game mate you don't want to get yourself involved in that not with the smoke. Not with smoke. Oh, night, night! Fuck! Ouch! I can feel that from here. Night, just give up. Night, just give up. Ford, just tap out. Unless you want your your um leader to be completely pulverised by smoke and him tapping out right now. Okay, no, Ford broke it up. Then just just tap out. Ford, just let. Wyatt Storm pin you. Look at Knight, he's just being dominated. Oh no, oh no, Ford, Ford, you don't deserve this. Oh god, look at this, the MMA, MMA style of smoke going into play into the cross arm bar. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ford, Ford's escaped. Unbelievable, Ford actually escaped. Oh no, over the ropes. Knight escapes the camel clutch by uh, Wyatt Storm. And our smoke is just striking down on Ford on the outside. Knight hits a Seth Walker. Oh, uh, two super kicks by Ford. And now, oh, oh no. Now smoke is pissed that Ford even tried to reverse. He knows. That there's a pin going on, but he didn't even try to break it up. Smoke is just all about that domination. He doesn't care if his teammates in peril or something. Just leave it up to them. Because Smoke is on a mission and a suplex through the cell wall. His mission is almost complete. His mission, you may ask? What is his mission? To complete... Do complete max... 
pain to his opponent. And now Ford and Smoke are climbing the cell. Why a storm? He's going to help Smoke, I think. Oh, this isn't good. The Storm Squad are all on top. Both members of the Storm Squad are on top of the cell. Meanwhile, there's one new error. No, 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 no. Ford may have just broke his back. Ford may have just broke his back and he lands in the crowd. Spot kind of place. Look at this. Oh, my God. His back is just snapped off. How is he going to get back? He's, he's going to have to climb the barricade. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's waiting for Knight. Knight does not want a single part of that. Wyatt Storm trying to help uh, Ford. Ford jumps over the barricade. Ford just jumped over the barricade. He's climbing again. That is not a good idea. Justin Ford, you're the man with the plan. So I trust you've got a good plan here, but you might break your back again, and we don't want to see that. Oh, for God's sake. No smoke. There's no need to repeat and just... Oh, my God. He just repeated history. Ford just broke his back on the damn thing again. Well, I mean, I hate to say it, but, I mean, if you're going to mess with someone like Smoke, I mean, you have it coming to you, Ford. Ford is attempting to jump over the barricade again. Ford jumps over the barricade and a super kick that it misses. Trying to get Knight into the ring. Wirestorm takes a super kick. Smoke sees this happening. His tag team partner just being destroyed on the on the inside. And Knight telling, oh, Knight wants part of smoke. Knight, oh, this isn't a good idea, Knight. Remember what happened just a few minutes ago, like five minutes ago. And it's happening again. The release German suplexes. I don't know what hurts more. The release Germans or maybe the fully Germans, but either way, they both hurt so much. It's just proof that Smoke doesn't give a care in the world who Knight is, what he stands for. As long as he just gets a bit of destruction, well, I mean, he'll be willing to do it. And now another one. Wyatt Storm being destroyed on the outside by Justin Ford. Well, Knight is being even more fucked up on the inside by Smoke. Oh no, he ducked under. Knight bumps into him, caught, caught, centre of the ring, Knight's caught, centre of the ring, the palm strikes, he might be caught open, cross armbar, cross armbar, wait a minute, Knight, Knight twisting around, immediately trying to get out, punches, punches, and oh, he's gotten out, good on Knight, but now he's put into the gear team, gear team, similar to the EW World Champion, well, the former EW World Champions, Tyler's gear team, and Justin Fordes, Rakes it up. Oh no, he doesn't realise that Smoke's got up. <laughs> and Smoke. Just dominating both of the new era where Wyatt Storm is just down. There it is again. With that German. And this is exactly the powerhouse you want in your team. This is the exact powerhouse you want in your team. Two night kicks out of the pole driver by Wyatt Storm. And now, wait a minute, Wyatt Storm. The storm is coming! Into the cover! Tag Team Championship on the road. No, arm ball on Ford! Ford taps out! And Wyatt Storm wondering what happened. He just hit his finisher on night and then it was over. The Storm Squad are your new tag team, WWE Tag Team Champions with basically a double finish. Murdering Knight and Ford also getting a bit of the pain. But these two are the new faces of the tag team division. The Wyatt Squad, no, the Wyatt Squad. The, the, the Storm Squad. 
No, don't go anywhere. Because we have one more match, and it is Force Count Anywhere number one contenders match for the EWE World Championship at the first ever pay-per-view EWE ever had, which is Chaos. Look at these two. Holding the cha Tag Team Championships. The first ever Tag Team Champions of Season 2. And, well, the first ever title win of Season 2. Could Storm Squad be the biggest faction? Well, we're going to have to see soon. Later in the season. But anyway, let's get on to the final match of the evening. Final match of EWE of this episode. Number one contenders of false count anywhere match. Triple threat for the EWE World Championship. Like I said, it's a number one contender match for Chaos. The brother of Alpha Omega, who we learned tonight was not the actual brother of Alpha Omega. But, well, it'd make a lot more sense if you watched that. It was at the beginning of the show. Alex, one in a shot. This man wanting to retire, but he keeps carrying on. He wants at least one more run before going away from our companies forever. Wait a minute, who the... Who the fuck? Who the fuck? What? Who is this? Did I just... Did I just... Did that just say who I think it just said none? Who? Um, what? I thought this was a triple threat match, hold on, what the? We're supposed to have the Springer, but... Okay! Apparently, somehow, Tyler... ...is able to compete! The former EWE World Champion wants his title back, I guess. But he's somehow able to compete. I thought... Oh, he had to. I thought he had to stay at home because he had like thumbtacks in his back and he had a broken nose or something. Well, I guess he's broken what you know. Oh god, look at his nose. I guess he's broke. Oh no, you can see all the thumbtacks and stuff has came out of his back. And my ears Springer. The first ever EW Mr. EWE in the bank, gold in the bank. Showing it off. He did actually cash in on Tyler once, but it didn't actually go well. But he's looking for, to make a name for himself in Season 2. But I'm just shocked that Tyler is able to compete tonight. He's supposed to be at home resting. Oh, blue strike targeting Tyler straight off. Just because he's the in, just because he's injured in the match. Bet that's the only reason. Oh no, electric chair driver into the cover on the already injured Tyler. Come on, Tyler, don't kick out. You need to go and rest. Okay, he kicks out. No, do this. Elbow in the cut. Elbow in where all the fun taxes came out. Blue strike, fucking hell! Have some remorse! Oh, don't. Don't! That was a knee right to the nose. That was a knee right to the nose. The broken nose of Tyler. Why is he out here to... Oh, my God. Why is he out here tonight? I thought he was literally told by the mission GM and... by the person who owns the show, Hayden, to stay out of action until he's actually like medically prepared to fight I mean Tyler I guess doesn't listen to anyone and wants to put himself in pain wait a minute Alex locked on her guillotine right okay that's when I got out of it okay so 
Tyler's has put in his health on the line tonight and Blue Strike doesn't give a shit he's literally gonna murder someone oh come on what is this trapping both his legs and now mocking Tyler low blow oh my god are you kidding me oh, oh god, Tyler knees to the back Alex and Springer fighting on the outside. Should probably look at that a bit more. Uh, Alex bringing Springer up. Oh, wait, blue strike. Not wanting to be lifted up. Um, Alex with a big kick to the back of Springer. This is actually quite a big challenge for the Springer. If he can cope with someone like Alex, he can genuinely show the world what he is made of. Oh, no. Crushing the knees. I'm just paying attention to Blue Strike. I don't want to see Tyler bleeding out in the ring. Oh no. Backbreaker into the toss. And oh no, oh no, oh no. Looking for it. Thunderstrike by Blue Strike into the cover. Oh, this is why you don't fight when you're injured, Tyler. Two. And he still kicks out somehow. Actually, I'll tell you how he kicked out. His, he, he's Tyler. He kicks out of everything. What are people favouriting them German suplexes tonight? Oh, here's the DDT. He hit the DDT. If that's it, if that's it, it takes one move to dispose of Blue Strike. Oh, that, Alex is going to go break it up. Yeah, there it is. Oh god, okay, oh! Roll up a blue strike! Using the barricade to push himself forward, how is Tyler doing this? Look at his back! You can see where the thumbtacks have gone in! You see that a massive cut! Look at his nose! Can we get, can we get like a, can we just... Pause the match, just so we can see Tyler. No, nope, blue strike won't allow it. Oh god, oh god. Now Blue Strike flips him over. Cross on bar, oh no. Tyler is motionless. Alex and Spring are fighting on the outside. Now we can get like a zoom in of this camera angle. Look at Tyler's nose. Look at it. Look, what the fuck? Cross on bar is still in. Tyler's not uh, tapping out. Right now, anyway. Look at his nose. What's up with that? That's what an Omega knee with full power can do to your nose. Can we see a glimpse of his back, maybe? Try and get the camera down. No, I don't think we'll be able to because of the cross arm bar. But you could already see it anyway. And now Tyler turning the tables. Wait a minute, Blue Strike's shoulders are down there. But still... Oh, I just want to know that big question. Why in the earth is Tyler wrestling tonight? Okay, well, I mean, I guess he hasn't died yet, so good job, Tyler. Look at him go, though. He's doing pretty well for being injured. That sight on his back, though, is... That, that is disgusting. I did not want to see that. And there's the DDT again, rushing into the cover to go and get a rematch for his EWE World Championship kick out by Blue Strike. Springer takes an RKO! Into the cover, one, two, oh! Not many people can kick out of an RKO! Good on, good on Springer, he hasn't been lying, he really has been working, hasn't he? What is Blue Strike doing? Kick. What is this? Oh, this is impressive. This is what he did on Samuel Perez. Turns it inside out. Wait a minute, armbar. And Blue Strike breaks it up. Wait a minute, he's setting up in the ring. Tyler hasn't realised it. Thunder strike! Into the cover! 
Into the corner! One! Oh, Alex is going to be there to break it up. Into the cover again on Springer! One! Two! Oh! It was a two. Blue strike almost had him. He's saying, come get me! Oh, into the armbar! Blue strike into an armbar. Tyler only just realising it out of the corner of his eye. And oh, oh no, Springer being dealt with. Oh, a leaping clothesline. What is it? Oh, here we go. Choking backbreaker into a toss. Wait a minute, he just... Alex trying to steal the pin. Circling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's the, um... Oh, fuck, I forgot that new name. Face Buster. No, Face Breaker, even. I call it a recoil, but it wasn't even a recoil. So many pins going on at the moment, holy crap. Oh, Tyler and Alex have both got their eyes set on Blue Strike, but Blue Strike just trying to survive somehow. Too busy contemplating who he's going to pin. What the hell? What was that? Big forearm by the Springer. Springer pushed aside. Big punch. Oh no, no, no! Blue Strike setting it up. Thunder Strike! DDT into the cover. Alex could break it up again! Alex broke it up! Again! That's for like the fifth time. Oh no, no. Now it's up to the Springers to break it up. One, two. Oh, Tyler got the shoulders up. Tyler got the shoulders up. That, that's good. <sighs> Blue Strike won't be known as one of the people to have. Oh, Tyler's after him. Tyler's pissed. Oh God, look how far. Blue Strike was running for his life. Kind of makes me feel bad. To be fair. But I mean, I guess he kind of does deserve it. He's a bit of a dick. Oh, Alex kicks out at one. Oh, the ref, the ref. Wait a minute, I just realised Blue Strike just hit a roll up. This is so smart. Look how far away both Alex and um, the Springer are. Why did he let it go? Look how smart this is! One! Two! Oh, a kick out. Oh, but it's not that smart for long, is it? Into the cover. Oh, but... No, Springer let go. Springer let go. There's too much time. Blue Strike and Tyler were bound to go and break it up. There's no point keeping that pin in. Uh-oh, Tyler is still pissed of Blue Strike. What is Tyler thinking? What in the world? Oh, superplex time. Good night. Bang. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. And insult to injury. Doing that, and now into the cover. Alex is going to go and break that up, yep. Yeah. God, no one wants to lose this match. Tyler was jumping for an RKO. Look at his back. That ass is cut down the middle. And you can see all the little circles are where the bite marks. The, bite marks, the uh, thumbtacks have came out. Tyler breaks up the count by stepping on the Springer as he jumps in the air. Punch by Blue Strike. From off the ropes. Oh, Blue Strike. What is he doing? Springer, look at him going to the top. 
big knee. DDT, oh my god, that was vicious. Oh, Springer, Springer's close, Springer's close. Why, why did the referee stop? Springer, Springer missed. Oh, that was a close one. Springer might win this. Oh, he could have pinned Tyler and got the win. That was vicious. He hit the DDT right on the broken nose. Springer could have run it if he just pinned Tyler. Oh, oh it's all going to hell on the outside now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Blue Strike. What's he doing? What is Blue Strike doing? Submission! Alex, this is a submission! Okay, he broke it up. Alex is like Blue Strike's worst enemy. He keeps breaking up everything he does. Oh, what a knee! Big strike. Best the DDT on the Springer! No, but it might it won't hurt as much. It won't hurt as much. Because he hasn't got a broken nose. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no, right on the ramp on the broken nose! One oh that's my bit. Just because Tyler came out when he was half injured. Blue Strike does not deserve that. He wouldn't have beaten Tyler in a 1v1. He really wouldn't have beaten Tyler in a 1v1. He just targeted Tyler because he was the most injured. Anyway, I had chaos. We're going to see Alpha Omega versus Blue Strike. Thank you guys for what... Wait a minute. Oh, no. What's that running through the hallway on the camera? Oh, why is Tyler in the ring? Tell me when night is. And I won't bite into your neck. Not again. We need to get like security. We need to get like fucking Ghostbusters or something. Whatever. We, we, we need to get Frank Root West here. Oh, wait, never mind. Um, we need to get something here. Because this thing can't keep on continuing to ruin the shows. Wait a minute. Oh my god, Tyler's actually completely gone. Um. Dispatch to gen general manager. Yeah, um, Tyler's just disappeared with that creature. We need like exterminators or something all around the locker room. What the fuck? No superstar, no athlete is safe. They just took one of our best people on the roster. What the? Fuck. Right, everyone. Everyone, I want you to stay calm. I want you to evacuate the building. Kill the cameras, kill the cameras. I want you to evacuate the building.